Hi loves. So I I just wanted to take a moment to to share some insight into this topic of how women utilize their masculine energy to penetrate men without consent. And this topic's really alive for me. Uh, I just finished up a study hall for my um, online course called Intimacy by Design. And uh, the, the students were in the course and we were talking about, um, we were talking about, how do I describe this? We were talking about the ways that masculine energy can penetrate the feminine without permission. And the way that this most commonly shows up, or when I say the masculine penetrating the feminine without permission, in my mind, the easiest example that can come up is, oh, a man penetrating a woman sexually without permission or like rape or coercion or things of that nature. And right now in the collective, there is a lot of energy around this. There's there's anger. There's a lot of dialogue about men um, using their masculine energy to penetrate women without consent and what I feel is really important is to also bring the, the role reversal of looking at the ways where women use their masculine energy to penetrate men without men's consent because we all have masculine and feminine energy that exists within us and a lot of the challenge that I see these days is and I'm generalizing now but there's a lot of anger towards what men by women um, wanting men to take responsibility for their actions and how they violate or don't attune to the experience of a woman. And in order to be a part of the collective healing, the collective rebalancing, it is important for us as women to look at where we are perpetuating the same energetic dynamic um, that we are pointing the finger at in men. So in the in the study hall, the example that I used was the the Greek myth of the story of the the dynamic between Apollo and I believe it was Daphne. Um, I'm not 100% sure that it was Daphne, but this is the dynamic, and this is actually a story that was shared with me by um, the author Thomas More, who wrote the books Care for the Soul, Soulmates, and basically the the story between Apollo and Daphne is uh, Daphne was you know a like an, I don't know if she was a nymph, but like a, a like sort of goddess of of nature. She lived in the woods. She was this virginal um, woman of the woods. And Apollo is the god of the sun, the god of intellect, the 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 god of insight. And Apollo was very attracted to Daphne and loved her, and he wanted to offer his wisdom, his insight, his truth. He wanted to penetrate her with his consciousness. So. There is nothing inherently wrong with Apollo's consciousness. Um, there's actually a lot of brilliance, obviously, in his consciousness and in his intellect. But the challenge was that he wanted to penetrate Daphne with his truth, with his consciousness, with his intellect, without her permission. She wasn't actually available for it. She didn't want to receive him. But because Apollo had his own agenda of what he desired, he disconnected from and deprioritized whether or not Daphne actually wanted to receive his intellect. So this is really a collective example of the the mass the the, the challenge and, and struggle that we are facing right now of the masculine wanting to penetrate the feminine without its consent, without her consent. And again, we see how this 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 plays out, you know, the post Me Too movement of the anger of men physically penetrating women without their consent. Uh, but the the conversation that's less spoken about, and I'm I'm very aware of this because uh, a lot of the coaching work that I do is with men who are desiring to experience deeper intimacy in their relationship to themselves and to their relationship with women. And there's actually a lot of distrust that men have towards women because whereas for women, much of the collective wounding exists around the opening of our sexuality with men, for men that equivalent is um, the, the wounding around opening the heart, that, that men do not have approval for, for the heart and for sensitivity and for vulnerability in the way that women do. Whereas for men, there's, a, there's an approval around 
their sexuality in a way that there's not for women. So what I see a lot of men feeling really challenged with in dynamics with women is that women, and I'm generalizing now, want to penetrate men with emotional processing. And what I mean by that is that because we as women are just so like, we're so you know in our emotions and so in our in our communication that um, there can just be this propensity to want to process with a man or go in deep to his heart whenever we want it, but we're not actually checking in with the man and seeing are you are you available for this type of opening right now? Are you receptive to this type of penetration right now? Because it's deep heart penetration for men in a way that they have not receive the permission or the the support or really the skill to open up in a way where they're taking care of themselves. And we as women can so often have our own agenda to want to penetrate men to understand what's going on in their heart and their truth. And often really that's coming from us as women, our own desire to feel safe. To, to control the circumstances. It's like, oh, if I can get into this man's heart and just like dig in there and like figure out exactly what's going on, then I can feel more safe in my body. But really that is just, that is just us women violating a man's right to open at the pace that he is ready to open. And it really is no different than us as women wanting men to respect the opening of our legs at the pace that we want to open. So really wanting to invite that any place where we as women want to point the finger at men or be angry at men or um, asking men to step up to the plate and meet us, there is a place within us where we are also being asked to attune our own inner masculine, the way that we penetrate and to realize the power of our impact and take responsibility for our impact in a way where if we are attached to um, feeling like, uh, you know, that, oh, because we're a woman, we're a victim, because we're a woman, we're entitled to more. We're never, we're not creating a space for men to feel like it's safe to be who they truly are. Just as we as women are wanting for men to create a space where we feel like it's safe to be who we really are. So this is really an invitation for us to practice, as women to practice with men, the way that we desire for them to show up with us and to strengthen our own inner masculine, our ability to artfully penetrate and intuitively compassionately penetrate so that men can cultivate the relationship to their femininity, which is their sensitivity, which is their vulnerability, which we desire. So really inviting for us as women to play active roles in helping men to rebalance and embody their masculine feminine energy, just as we as women are being invited to rebalance our masculine and feminine energy, because from this place, we can create empowered, delicious relationship where the woman isn't always required to be in the feminine. The man isn't always required to be in the masculine. When we have all of our energies online, we can be in this really beautiful masculine feminine interplay, which is this really beautiful, like magnetic and repulsive and just this, it's beautiful. So there's more to say on that, but I'm gonna stop there. Uh, thank you for everyone who's tuned in. Um, if this is resonating with you, please share what resonates with you in the comments below. Have a beautiful day. I'm actually about to go see one of my male clients now. So I'm going to go and enjoy that experience. And I'll talk to you soon. Much love.